stuff. Girl, YouTube has changed how they did everything. <laughs> Girl, so bitch. But I'm here, and we are here. And we're going to be talking about tonight, Miss JT from the City Girls and her petty th thievery. So if y'all follow me for Instagram, y'all will know that so let me just get right into it because they say I uh, babble on too, too much. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get right into it and find out what happened. All right. So I'm trying to call. So, so earlier today, somebody came in alive and said free JT. So, of course, we say, all right, we have free JT. And somebody in the live said that JT was in jail. I was, so we were talking about when she come home. JT from the City Girls, as y'all know. And somebody was like, oh, when she come, she's coming. She's coming. She can't, we want her to come home. We want her to, you know, come home. Blase, blase. So I'm like, okay, well, girl, how long has she been in jail? Blase, blase. So the girls was like, girl, the girls was like, well, she's in jail for... Big time fraud, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, yeah, well, she's my sister. And she's in jail for big time fraud. So, um, I'm like, okay. Um, she's in jail for 50%. But then somebody in the, in the DMs, which is a sipper, said, bitch, she's not in jail for no big time fraud, bitch. She's in still jail for gap fraud. And so, at first, I'm thinking, insurance fraud? Like, gap fraud? But then they're like, no, 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 no. She stole some Gap credit cards. So JT from the City Girls, Miss Big Birkin Bag, <laughs> all this nigga, really went to jail, to federal prison, for stealing some Gap cards. All right. So what I want to do is now show the receipts. Now, also, I will link the receipts at the end of this video. I will upload them to my Google Drive and link them to... Um, so y'all can see them for yourselves. But it's what what was the T with that is this. The scamming ass nigga swipe a visa from a girl went to jail for basically a petty crime. Alright, so let's look at the receipts real quick. I'm going to have to show them on my phone currently because girl, you know I'm not to do this YouTube thing and putting stuff up and all that stuff like that. But I will link um, in the description, I will link the actual screenshots from the actual clerk of court office about what she actually went to jail for. So, yeah, hit the like button. I can't see the likes. I don't think. I don't know if I can see them. I see y'all. Did you see the fraud video? I can't see. I see the fraud video. Um, If you want to email me at mcshakylive. What's going on? What's going on for Stuff Financial? mcshakylive at gmail.com and I will link it to you and that way you can see it like that. If not, I'll upload that to the Google Drive and or, or put the link. So we're talking about JT from the City Girls and how she went to jail for petty fraud, not anything that I have the actual court documents. Also, I'm going to call on FaceTime the girl who slid the receipts across my desk. Gotcha. Gotcha. So let's look at the receipts and I want to move my camera just a little bit so we can see what they actually say and like i said i will be posting this up to what's going on y'all i will be posting it up to i don't know how to like it but i don't even see the likes but please like and subscribe i would appreciate it um so we will talk about that first let's get into it because this was heavy tea and we're going to talk about the thumbs on that up i don't know i have no earthly idea this is some new stuff. YouTube got a thing where you got to stream through an app now. You can't stream directly through. Exit up live, press the like, and then come back in. All right. So, um, child. Let's look at it. Let's look at the uh, actual receipts. So, the first receipt I want to show y'all. I'm going to bring my phone. I just came in. It's up. Okay. So, the first receipt we want to talk about. is y'all can see that? No, 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 that's the wrong one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the right one. This is the indictment. It's at courtlister.com. As you can see, this is the grand jury indictment of one 
Miss Jatavia Shek Jatavia Shakara Johnson. And it's in the Southern District of Florida. And so it talks about some activity that she did from September 3rd of 2016 to April 4th of 2017. So it says she did knowingly and with the intent to defraud use one or more unauthorized access devices, credit card numbers issued to other persons during any one year period. So the next part talks about this. And this is the part that's, that's, that's really, I hope y'all, let me see if I can focus this just a little bit more. It says, there you go. Gap credit card account number. So from September, so right now it says from September 3rd, 2016, it was a Gap credit card account. September 3rd, 2016. Gap credit card. So she went at 5 o'clock, came back out at 7 o'clock, two hours later, to get some more shit from the Gap. And then she came out in April on a, on a different call. 6.42 p.m., 6.45 p.m., the next day, 2.10 p.m., and the next day, 2.53 p.m. All right. Hold on. This too. Oh, that's the thing that I'm pay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like I said, I will be posting this on, I will be posting the links so y'all can see. So she hit the gap on those dates and time. And as you can see right there, gap credit card account number ending in that, that number. So it's definitely a gap account. So, um... So JT of City Girls fame was actually in the feds for not scamming big or having some niggas swipe cards for her or anything, but being basically what we call a petty thief. Now, why is this important to shake it? Why does shake it care? And I'm about to get into that in a minute. Okay, on. Oh, I can see it over here. Is it over here? I can't see it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get to it. I don't know. On my own. Erica loves French with you. I'm not. If y'all saying stuff, I can't see it at all. Hey, what's going on, Miss Skippy? I see it now. So. <laughs> so look. All right. So let's let's talk about the first thing. Now, okay. Now. We got more receipts. Hold on. Let me get my um. My iPhone 11, because I screenshot it over. Hold on. All right. So, all right. What's going on, CP? So, the issue is this. This is why this is even important to me, or why it's an issue, girl. And I'm going to call a woman in a second. Actually, so I go on live. So, it came through my desk from a sipper who is a certified paralegal. So, 100 likes to be in the recommended views, people. I have, how many likes do we have? So, um, we have to, so this is what happened. So, it came to my desk through a girl who is a sipper. She's a sipper, and what she did was she provided those receipts because people were saying that she had stole money from somebody who was dead and made all these hundreds and hundreds of thousand dollars, and that she's a label girl and all this stuff like that. Well, that's inaccurate. She's not a label girl. She's a Gap girl. I went to the Gap earlier today, um, and what I found in the Gap was that, so I went to the Gap earlier today myself. As y'all can see, I did go to the Gap because I wanted to find out what, how much the prices of the stuff at the Gap was. And we found some information on the Gap card. And what we what we found out about the Gap was that she's actually, the highest thing at the Gap is $119. That's the most expensive thing. The most expensive thing at the Gap is $119. So she's not a Birkin bag girl. She's not a labor girl. She's a Gap girl. That's cool. 
that's cool. She went to jail. She's done two years. She got two years uh, was her sentence for basically doing credit card fraud at the Gap. She had a few Gap cards. She stole some Gap social security numbers. And so she got some Gap money. That's it. She was not a grand girl. She's not all that stuff like that. And so the important part about that is living in your truth. And so I went to the Gap to find out information about how the Gap worked. I didn't even know Gap had a credit card, but Gap do have their own credit card. I did get the proof of that right here. As y'all can see, the highest thing at the Gap is $119. So Miss City Girl JT is not <laughs> Big Birkin Bag, four, five, six figures. She's Miss Gap Booksack, <laughs> four, five, six dollars. That's who she is, because that's how much the little book sex comes. All right. Why am I mad? Okay. This is why. My Instagram account may be deleted. There are two posts on this. One is, as y'all can see, a post on August 18th. But I'm just still saying, the gap sweater... I mean, you listen, <laughs> you're not making child. I don't care what you, okay, used to be at your label chick, no matter how you add it up, four, five, six figures is not coming out the gap, off the gap card. The gap card is a store card. They may give you $500 limit on a gap card. That's it. You're not making no money off a gap card. I'm a, I have done fraud for many years. If it's not an American Express, a Discover, or Nasty Old Visa Platinum, or MasterCard Platinum, you're not making no money. A gap card is a store card. You might be getting $500 off that bill. So I don't care what you say, label chick, as a, a, so you said she might be. <laughs> so, all right. So I actually made, let me see if I can do it like this. Good, I sure can. So I actually did a post about them before, as y'all can see about the city girls and Santana they said, they said you could use the gap <laughs> call her old navy as the leader and banana republic so listen sister if she was using a gap card at old navy that's worse banana republic eh whatever no I had a 2500 credit limit there shaking okay cool but still it's not for five so listen you're gonna st so don't argue with me on this and let me let me let me let me be great and let me so let me tell you what it is. Watch this. So let's say, for instance, she got $2,500 from the gap. Street value is $1,250. You can only sell it for half. Or what she went. So she's a labor girl. That's one bag. That's a half a bag. It ain't, you can't, and as far as getting cash off it, I don't know what you're talking about. The gap card, as I read, is not going to do that. The average limit on a gap card may be $1,000. So if you had twenty five hundred dollars, I mean you had some good credit. Congratulations, I'm glad for you. Your credit is up there. But in her case, let's like you know. <laughs> so listen, they actually had one of my posts deleted. One of my posts was talking about where is they getting all this New Orleans style from. It didn't even mention them. It didn't say nothing about them. I'm like Santana and. Young Miami, young Miami, who I call Young Morero, gave me everything about how me and Tutu. What's going on, T Money? So, T Money, T Money, what's T Money? T Money, Money. T Not that T Money. What's going on, Demon? What's going on, everybody? Harold, welcome to the YouTube. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and comment. But liking is very important. We want y'all to like. Okay, thank y'all so much. I have to say those things because I want to do that. <laughs> So, um, I think it has something to do with my coins, my coin dollars. So. so, listen, as I brought the girl on live, who actually was the one who slid the receipts across my desk, this is what happened in succession. Number one, let me put it like this. I mean, dude, come on, iPhone, work with me. Don't work with me, don't work against me. Number one. Live removed for bullying or harassment. <laughs> Number one. Your life goes against our community guidelines. And I was suspended from Instagram Live to October 15th. Bam, bam, bam. Soon as I showed the receipt of her, 
soon as I showed the receipt of her, um, soon, 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 soon as I showed the receipt of her, the kids goes to the gap are cute. I don't know. So soon as I show her receipts, my account was boom, 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 attacked, 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 attacked everywhere. They ended the live. They reported the live and I was suspended for live for two weeks. So I'm like, wow, this is the second time I mentioned them. And how is this bullying and harassment as soon as I'm showing receipts about what I have found? Because the argument was, see, some people said she was going to jail. She had went to jail for stealing a lot, doing a lot of fraud. Like she was, okay, what's going on? How you doing, T-Money? I miss you, sister. Hit me up. Um, Email me. MC, I would like to talk to you. MCShakeItLive at gmail.com. Thank you for coming by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. So, so listen. So when it comes down to her, actually, I do remember you, team, team, money, 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 about the book, a book, a book. <laughs> okay, that's it. All right. So I have all this happened to me in succession once I was talking about this girl and her gap bags, girl. So, all right. What I want to do now is call the girl who actually is the one who provided me with the receipts. And we're going to... We're going to call her and she's going to give us a more detailed explanation about exactly what happened, how she came across it. I'm trying to FaceTime her now. Hey, hey Courtney, how you doing? This is MC Shaker. Can I, it's, it's, it's MC Shaker. Can I, um, can I FaceTime you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to FaceTime her. She's a sipper and she is from, so I'm going to put it on the screen because this is how I got to do it right now. Hey, what's going on? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you to the well. I don't know if you can see, you can see the camera, but they can see you now. Okay. Okay. So, so the first question is okay. I, I gave them a brief history about what actually occurred today on live. What I want to so we want to know is how you came across the information about JT from. You cute girl. <laughs> I know you cute. Okay. <laughs> I know people be looking at your um, YouTube. But um, how I came across the information is, and I just want to touch on this before we go on. Okay. Anytime you date somebody, you know, you have to important for people I think I think it's more important for people especially industry people to live in their truth and so yes. so um we appreciate you for sending that across this. so let me ask a few questions about you so you are a you are a, 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 a certified paralegal in Florida no I'm from the DMV area oh okay. um, I got my certificate from George Mason University and gotcha. for the nation that I can get in trouble no you're allowed to look at anybody you want to look at for your protection Public, yes Very inexpensive. Public information. I didn't work on this case. I'm not from Florida. Um, but yeah, I just came across it just funning around and I saw it and it was just interesting that it was gap fraud charges. 
Right, gap fraud. So she, and and when we and so when you was first telling us about it, it was like gap fraud. I was thinking insurance gap fraud, but it come to find out that it was the gap, as in the clothing store fraud. Yes, the clothing store. And again, this is not to make fun of them or anything like that, but a lot of young ladies on your thread, they don't realize that you can get insurance fraud. Yeah, they couldn't believe it. Right, I couldn't. Like, the industry is a whole, and you know, you know, the industry is just fake. Right, definitely. Definitely. It's just fake. And it's leading young people to do the wrong things. Right. So, because we think, oh, we got to, this is the new thing, the scamming and all this stuff like this is cute, when it's really not. She got two years for scamming the gap. So, <laughs> it's like. And it's, you tell from your story that you really was into scamming and fraud. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was into that. Right. On a whole other level. Right. And I regret it to this no. day. So, I mean, don't go. So, definitely, it's a different thing in the world now. But I, I definitely regret every minute of it. So let me ask, let me ask you one, if a few more questions to apply. Um, so you, the person you were dating, what you found out about them, did that make you not want to date them anymore? Or what or was it? Okay, the guy that I was dating, um, I found out that he killed his first cousin. Okay. Um, and I was like, I don't know why you did that. Like, why would you do that? Right. Um, so I didn't take him seriously, and then I did follow up on him, and I found out like he had warrants for sixteen years over his head. I told him he was still touring with Kodak, and he didn't give a fuck. So that was that. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. So, so that was that. But it's just like a lot. You can find out a lot of information if you just do background checks on people. I agree. And, and, and this day and age is so important because people out here floss, especially for IG. Right, and that's and that's the thing. A lot of people are just having a hard time living in their truth, and I think that's a bad thing. You're setting bad examples. There are millions of people that follow you. There's a million people that watch you, and it's very. I mean, we we, we fans, and so the things that you're telling us, the life that you're glamorizing, we're chasing this. And a lot of us are going to jail. A lot of us are, are doing this, that, and the other. We are trying to live up to the standards that you create, and y'all not doing it. Y'all not living up to those standards. Y'all not. Y'all not living like that. Tell us the truth. Tell us the truth, and we'll love you more. You got very naive people, like, I'm not going to drop no names, but we know certain people in certain areas just flossing, and it's just like, if you call the people out, then you a bad person, but it's like, when the shit crumbles, then y'all gonna go back to people like me, and you'll be like, oh, you was right, they was fraudulent, right. you know, I mean, why worshiping fraudulent people? Why we worshiping fraudulent people? When the real people like me and you sitting up here trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, what, but they're up here living an imaginary fairy tale and people are flocking to that. I just think that it's wrong. Uh, you know, we, I'm a, and we're going to laugh at her, but I would love her. Like, you know, and, it's, and so the problem is, so you was on the live with me and then all of a sudden the live ended. We find out next two minutes, this is, why do you think they do, do you have any idea why you think they don't want this information out? I would. I didn't even know the Gap had a credit card until you told me that today. I, until that, I was thinking Gap Insurance. I was like, oh, insurance. Yeah, it could be something else, but it says clear there on the federal paperwork Gap yeah. card numbers, and they scan, they wrote every number down, um, and it's been tight lipped and she did two years. And I checked back on the Miami Dade. It's recently 
had charges in 2012 and 2013 for something similar, but not quite. Okay. So it's been a long history of trouble. Wow. Wow. Mm. It's, yeah. I mean, I mean, she's admitted to doing the fraud. She has admitted that it's not. So let's not get that outside of whatever, whatever. But yeah, the, but, but the, she so she has admitted. It's not like she's lying about that. But it's like the lot. So the, the the issue that we just have today is that simply that she has glamorized what she was doing as far as she was yeah. like doing all this bank and all she got. So people might think, oh, I could do a billion dollars worth of fraud and I'm gonna get two years. No, I did a half a million and I got ten years, nine years yeah. in one month. Yes, yes, that's so, a great point. So, so you might think, oh well shit, bitch, I wanna I wanna I need a Birkin bag. I need to be a city girl. Let me do a little scamming and stuff like that. It's okay, it's cool, I ain't gonna get no time. Look at JT, she just got two years. No, she was scamming gap for a couple hundred dollars and got two years. When you do mm-hmm. big fraud, you get big you get big time. And that's the case, and I want people to understand. And just let's, let's just be a disclaimer. You were even surprised that she got that amount of time. So the charges they with fraud and scamming, they're probably up on the law and getting tougher right. on a law from nine years ago. Right, right. I so think you're probably going harder on them, especially repeat offenders. Right, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. So her name is Courtney. She's color girl on Instagram. Uh, this, but it's color. Spell how you you spell it a little different. How do you spell? It's spelled the French way. I'm really into New Orleans culture. C o u l e u r e d and then girl. Okay. Color girl. Oh, it's, yeah, and, and she's a sipper. She's been coming through. She came with her receipts today, and she and she came with the receipts and quick and everything. So, all right, that's another thing. So you're in the uh, DMV, DC area. Yeah, DMV stands for District of Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia. Okay, wh- which one are you in? I'm in Virginia, but that's 15 minutes from DC, so oh. it's very hard for people to understand our culture. Gotcha. It's DC culture. Okay, so um, I'm definitely I have family in Capitol Heights, Maryland. Um, yeah. I'm, I may be coming to DC soon for a um a show, and so okay. I will definitely um I, if I can I have your number. This is my number. You can lock it in. This is my personal number that nobody else has but you now. But yeah, um, let's, let's link. I would love to and just maybe just take you out or something like that. So thank you thank so you, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you uh, for right, providing yeah, your receipt. Y'all keep sipping. We will. We will always sip. Thank All you right, so much, right. sister. Love you. All right. Love you too. Bye. All right. So she's real nice. Okay, she's real nice. So, um, bitch. So it's heavy, heavy. I heavy. So JT did not go to. So we was already thinking that people was that she was scamming. That she was, yeah, she was nice. She was really nice. I liked her too. And she came with her receipts. So she's a sipper for life. Uh, we love her. She came with the receipts and fast. Again, again, her receipts will be posted to um, my Google Drive. And I will um, upload them and have a link to the video uh, within the Google Drive. So that you can link and see the receipts for yourself. Um, but it's like I said, it's also public information. It's all public. I see 83 likes. I don't know. Oh, well, we don't know. I, don't, I can't really explain. So it's... I see the 83. I see 83 too, because I just see it right there. But, um, okay. So, um... The first you didn't see, that's why I asked. Yeah, I see 83. That's cool. Thank y'all for the likes. I appreciate that. I wish, y'all ever, I wish everybody just likes. So, JT from the City Girl. This is the T. Y'all heard it right. Right here from me. Big fat ass... MC Shaker, MC Shaker Live, that um, she was not scamming Birkin bags. She was scamming from Gap. Uh, the Gap charges is what the indictment was for. We have copies of the indictment. And because I talked about this on Instagram, they have also blocked my Instagram from going live and everything now. They have really have... Because if for some reason you cannot talk about those people on Instagram, I do not know why. Um, obviously, I was not harassing her. I was just talking about what the fuck I had found um, through one of my lovely, lovely sippers, Miss Courtney. And so, with that being said, it's like, wow, I don't understand why they would do this. But this is my second time even questioning these people. And they have really, 
So listen, so this is, is this what the case is like, why don't y'all want people to know this? This is very, uh, this is, what's up to bless, how you doing? So this is a, a big thing because what happens is you are glamorizing a life. When I tell people about fraud, I tell them the truth. This is what I did and this is how much time I got. It was a lot. It was away from your family for so long and it was, it's hurtful. It's hurtful to just the pain people to shut you down, shake it. I mean, why though? The truth is public information. Anybody can find it. Anybody can find it. So that's what it is. I need y'all to like and share this video. I have been online for about 31 minutes. Um, the root and the meat of the conversation has been discussed. Um, me at this point just shooting the shit at this time is just saying like how wrong I think this is. But I, and I think it's, it's, as far as, as, as what people are talking about, because even my own grandson was like, oh no, she's a grand girl. She does wears labels. She would not, she would not, she would not, she would not do this. She would not do that. She would not do that. That's not true. She would. You may be able to get info that they don't want reported. But hey, how can you stop this? You are public figures. The, See why I don't follow celebrities because it's oh, so fake and it's hurtful to me. Because I don't, I, I mean, I tend to like this to the girls. I don't have nothing wrong with them. I don't see nothing wrong with them. But, bitch, I so I'm wondering. So, what I want to do is I want to do a search to find out if sh the, the other blogs have ever picked up on this. And if not, like, wow, gap fraud. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, definitely. So, I don't know. I, so, have the other, like, the big blogs, the, the shade rooms. Make sure I watermark the receipts when I post them. Got it. You're right. So have the other blogs. Because all I can find is JT City Girls Gap. And I can't find that. I cannot find that. I cannot find nothing about what um her her government name is um Jashika um girl I don't, I don't give it a line to you girl um Let me look and see. Um, let me look at the receipts. That's what I'm looking at. Um, fuck. Where's my friend? Cusa. I want him. All right, so let's, let's see. The Her name, her government name is Jatavia Johnson. Now, the shade don't fool with the whole QC, their label. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you said the shade room won't talk about this because Jatav yeah, Jatavia Johnson is her real name. Nobody said it was a gap. No blog is talking and the shade room be on it and say nothing. Well, ain't that something? That's crazy. You will not find it. They was too busy saying free her and don't know what she went to jail for. That's why they help push hot girl summer to get the city girl summer BS out of here. Shit, if you keep getting info before them, you will be bigger than them, and they don't like that. Okay, what's up, Kelly in Texas? Hmm. Well, I ain't on payroll, and they can't put me on payroll. They ain't got enough money. I, I did. What's this? She go right there. There go Courtney. Yeah, they can't put me on payroll. There's <laughs> no payroll in the world, sister. <laughs> At all. Ain't no payroll. Ain't no fucking payroll. So, she said, and she's advocating to do your background check. So, color girl, let me do this. You are a receipt giver. I don't know if I can still make you a moderator, girl, but you are definitely a moderator up here. And moderator. Wow. There you go. You are a moderator. You could kick a bitch out of here. So, um, so you're saying that. The shade room and stuff were paid to minimize the story? Is that what you're saying? The shade room and the other blogs out there that didn't have this? Because it means this is public information. I'm sure somebody can 
look and see why I see y'all. Can you depend on how to do background checks? I would love to. How I do them. Let's go to the courthouse. Use Google is your best friend. The courthouse has a lot of public information. If you have information about like case numbers and stuff that you want to find out, in that case, it would just be find out her real name and go into the, they take kickbacks to bury the story. Yeah, we could work on that. We could do like a background check video and see how to do that so y'all can know. Or make your moderator, why? Why should you really share a post about it? I think they don't feel fool with QC. So anything negative, I'm sure they will want to put. So the shade room don't fool with quality that shit. So how do they don't know about this? How do they not know about this? How do they not know about what's not going on? These people are big people. Millions of people look up to them and they're glamour. I don't think people want to believe this. I know, I don't think my grandson wants to believe it either. The shade room don't post nothing bad about them. I wonder if we could uncover that. So is the shade room, see, uh, the, the shade room had my respect because I thought they was just like, they didn't have no cut like me. Like they don't give a fuck and it is what it is. You don't like me, you don't like it. But this is really, really fucking heavy. It's getting heavy. You hear me? Tamika, how many of our likes you see? Because mine just went off. Let me see if I can pull that up. Oh, shit. Okay. So that article says, Is City Girl Jay finally get out of jail? No, that's the one saying she getting out of jail. Oh, she getting out of jail. So she's getting out of jail, apparently, and she's home. Yeah, I see the article. I just, I'm, I can go to the article. If you click the article, I can go see. So, um, we finally over 100. Thank you. How do you like the live video? It's, um, it's a little different. So, um, all right. So, in the, in the spirit of me not doing the most on here, um, I will go ahead and end this live. Uh, I do know I owe y'all a story time, and I will have that soon. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Um, Miss Courtney, aka Color Girls, did say she want to. We will work together to do a video about how to do a background check, um, and we will do that soon as well. So please press the thumbs up button. Give me a like if you can. Please subscribe. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Um, and we will do that. But this is apparently what's going on. Um, the girl ain't that girl. She was the Gap girl. <laughs> so the Gap girls, big, big Gap. This one said she was denied early release. Oh, we'll look into that too. Let me see. Y'all still see me, huh? Okay. Yeah. Um, she was denied early release. That shit down, but they're not telling like it was just nothing. Okay. All right. So look, Gap Girl, not Birkin Girl. So, and it's not wrong with being a Gap Girl. If that's who you is. Be who you is. You a Gap Girl. I'm a fat boy. Hey. All right. So. Good night, love. Already subscribe with notifications on. I thank you. If you find something too blessed, email me. It's mcshakeitlive at gmail.com. That is my email address. You can email me. I check it. I don't know how we do DMs on here, but I guess they don't have it. Or y'all could DM me on, DM me on Instagram. Um, you find, She may be a repeat if I find info in Broward. And we will talk about that another time. Um, but I love y'all so much. Thank y'all again. Uh, if you just got here, I will save the video so you can go back and watch it. Um... If you want to. And please like and subscribe. That's all I ask. It don't cost you nothing to do that. I love y'all. Good night. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll see y'all uh, when I do story time, which will be tomorrow. I love y'all.